Well, um, as you mentioned, it's, it's a quite important story, which has been looking at three decades of data. And what we see is that ice sheets, the Greenland ice sheets, uh, normally gains mass at the surface and loses mass with glaciers falling into the ocean. And what they've noticed is, is that the glaciers which fall into the ocean have really increased their speed and that more and more glaciers are falling into the ocean. So the situation is quite bad. But to say that we're going to lose the ice sheet, I mean, that is quite exaggerated at this point. It's, it's clear that there's too much ice being lost, and so there's no equilibrium. But of course, what we're going to do today and the actions that we're going to take will have a big influence on the future evolution. And also the, the rate at which these icebergs are being discharged and the rate at which these glaciers are falling into the ocean may still stabilize. So to say that we're going to lose the ice sheet, which would also result in six meters of sea level rise, uh, is exaggerated. But what we see is that there is a certain delay and that even if we would be able to stop the temperatures at the present day levels, even if we would be able to do so, even then we would keep on losing mass for a bit. But then you could get a new point, a new stabilization. Interesting. You're saying these reports are exaggerated, but what could this mean? Uh, for us, for the environment and the different species that exist in that climate? You mentioned the sea levels earlier. Mm -hmm. Well, so by exaggerate, I mean, their study is certainly correct and shows very nicely that there is a big disequilibrium. But I think that uh, from this saying that it will disappear is, is, is a step too far. It's clear that there is a certain reaction time and we may reach a new equilibrium. And I think it's really important to stress that what we will do now will have an impact. And as, as you said, indeed, sea levels uh, will rise. If the whole ice sheet dis would disappear, which would take hundreds to thousands of years, we could get six meters of sea level rise. But also ocean currents could change. And if your ocean currents change, your climatic conditions will change. And for instance, the Gulf Stream, which brings a lot of warmth to Europe, may also be altered if you have a huge loss of the Greenland ice sheet.